us a drink because I'm feeling a bit parched. Just a little bit. So guys, I can't really give you my formal review of how I feel about the Z yet. Simply because it just hasn't been long enough. It's definitely a hell of a good looking bike. It definitely gets a lot of looks from people. Which, hey, looks is always good. Right? That's the way I see it. <laughs> yeah. See? Point in case. Right there. So a lot of people might ask, why'd you get a 1000 as your as your sport bike? As your first sport bike, why'd you get a Z1000? And the simple answer to that is because, honestly, it's because it's what I know. I've ridden a Ninja 1000 before. I've ridden... Wax SPK Z1000 before, so to me it just made sense. It just made sense to me to get what I like. You might think, why 1000? 1000s are overkill. And you know, I'm not, I'm not ignorant, guys. I know, I know that this bike is overkill for just regular old street use. I know that I could do the same thing I do on this with a 650 or hell a 500 you know like a CBR 500 I know that I don't need a freaking 1000 to do what this bike can do as far as just your everyday things but you know I really like the look of the Z1000 I like naked bikes um, I'm not sure what all there wasn't really much else out there it was either this or an FZ1 and there just happened to be more offers for the Z than for the FZ. So I just went with what I had. So, you know, I got a naked bike because I just like the muscly look of it. One thing I never really liked about sport bikes was the huge ass fairings and, and all that crap. It just, to me, it looked dumb. I mean, if you ride a super sport or something or something like that, I mean, no offense to you, but I just, I can't get down with the freaking full fairings. I love the sound of this thing. build your chest muscles riding this thing or would it be your lateral muscles I guess it'd be your lateral muscles because you're, you're pulling you're pulling to keep yourself on the damn bike you're falling off the back of it I'm probably gonna get bitched out for that you were speeding really bad and I'll be like yeah I know I know I'm sorry For a 1000, this isn't like a bike, like a super sport that you got to sit there and rev the piss out of constantly and really ride the shit out of it to get any enjoyment out of it. The way the engine is, the characteristics from the engine is, it's real torquey down low. So it's a great bike to ride slow. Like, I know that sounds retarded because it's a 1000, but really, you can ride this bike slow or, you know, calmly and still have a lot of fun on it. Look at that guy. That guy's loving it. I can see him out of my peripheral vision. He's just smiling like, fuck yeah, man. That bike is badass. Look, look at that. I just barely shift into like third gear. I'm already going 40. I understand, guys. I know it's overkill. I know you don't need it. I know it's just absolutely ridiculous for the street. Well, you guys know how Americans are. We want stuff like this because we can. Owie! Fucking shit! The fucking fire truck is loud. That's how Americans are. We want shit we don't need. We want cars and bikes that are too fast for any kind of practicality. We want more food than we need. That's why all the European clothes fit weird for us. 
We just want stuff in excess. Give me more, give me more. It's not a heavy bike. I mean, once you get going, it's real easy to move where you want it to. I mean, I mean, just, I mean, seriously, just look at it. It just goes wherever you want to go. I mean, it might be like almost 500 pound bike possibly. I really don't know the weight, to be honest with you. Someone comment below if you know the weight. But once you get going, it's, it's real easy to ride. Initially, when you sit out, when you're at a stoplight or you're going super slow, you can definitely feel the weight. I mean, same with the DR for, you know, dual sport sake, you know, you can definitely feel the weight. But this thing just, nah, man, once you get going, it's, it's light. You can really throw it around.